Well, one month after the massacre at Pulse Nightclub, local members of Congress are demanding answers from the Department of Homeland Security. Earlier this year, the agency ranked Orlando as having a low risk of being targeted by terrorists. That ranking has meant less money for police and first responders. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest is in Washington, D.C. as a heated congressional hearing is about to get underway. Tomorrow morning, Congressman John Micah will be joined by Central Florida law enforcement leaders here on Capitol Hill. They are demanding to know why the U.S. Department of Homeland Security is depriving the Orlando area of money that could be used to fight terrorism. They missed the mark. 49 people lost their lives. So we've got to get it right for the future. We spoke to Congressman Micah in his Washington office just a little while ago. During tomorrow's government oversight hearing, he will be questioning a FEMA representative about how the agency determines which cities get certain funding for terrorism response and which don't. Orlando Police Chief John Mina and Orange County Sheriff Jerry Demings are scheduled to testify about the need for that money in Central Florida. This is how much several major cities considered a high risk for terrorism are receiving in grant money this year. These smaller cities are also getting a few million for anti-terrorism training and equipment. For the second year in a row, Orlando is off that list, even though it just became the site of the worst terrorist attack in the U.S. since 9-11. Tomorrow we're going to find out uh, what went wrong uh, and try to begin to change that so other communities don't have to go through the devastating loss we've incurred in Central Florida. Micah and other members of Congress are urging the U.S. Department of Homeland Security to reevaluate its risk assessment formula with the hopes of getting Orlando back on that funding list. Reporting in our nation's capital, Mike DeForest, Getting Results, News 6.